What's going on guys? Welcome back to 863 Bassin. I appreciate you clicking on this video. If you are new to the channel and you like that everyday fisherman going out, trying new products, using products that we love, then consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you. Not new to the channel, you know that I get the Super Six Sack from Six Sense Fishing every single month shipped straight to my door. It's like Christmas in my mailbox. So like you see all the baits behind me, this allows me to try new baits that I may not have picked up on the site, different colors I never would have chosen. And I go out and I fish with them, I catch fish and I grow my confidence. That's one good thing about the Super Six Sack is it allows you to try these different products and colors in your local bodies of water and you may surprise yourself. In today's video, we're not just going over one, we're going over three completely different Super Six Sacks from Six Sense. And if you watch all the way to the end of the video, you have a chance of receiving one of these from me to your door. Now, if you are interested in getting the Super Six Sack shipped to your door every single month, I have a discount code down in the description of this video. Save money off your very first sack. Now, every single one of these Super Six Sacks always come in these nice velvet drawstring bags, which are great for toiletries, throwing tackle wire on the bank, throw camera accessories in them. I mean, you name it, it's just a nice little drawstring bag that you can use anywhere. Now the Super Six Sack does have some bonuses. They throw exclusive colors and exclusive baits in these sacks as well. So like I said, we're gonna go through each one of these sacks. We're gonna compare them, find out what colors, what baits, See what we got in these things. So right off the bat, we're gonna start with this red one right here. White six logo, white drawstrings. And let's break it open and see what we got. First thing we got in here is a hard bait. And this right here is the Crush 50X, 3 8 ounce. This thing dives two to five feet. And this color is Blue Gilla. Now, Blue Gilla, if you're looking for a life-like colored square bill that right there is gorgeous so this is your standard side square bill this is the one i always have tied on to a rod on my kayak at all times so next up i believe we have a soft plastic in here and we have the ned fries that is in color chartreuse pepper this is a 4.6 inch smaller bait they use on the ned rig now chartreuse pepper is a very popular color. I personally never throw this color. Now I have the opportunity to because I would have never pick this color up on my own on the website just because it's not a confidence color. But I've heard so many good things about these. But the Ned Fry, like I said, is 4.6 inches. It has a flat side to it and all three sides are nice and ribbed. So what that's going to do, that is going to displace water. It's going to give it a little unique action in the water. How about Vine Swim Jig? This is in Sexy Fied Shad. This bait right here is one of the reasons why I fell in love with Six Sense baits. This is probably the best swim jig on the market. Now, whether if you're fishing shallow or you're fishing a small pond, this quarter ounce size is perfect for you. Beautiful molded head design, 3D eyes, nice durable skirt, nice strong weed guard on there, nickel plated hook, stout hook. I've never bent one of these out before, but one of the features that are so unique about these is that screw lock on there. So once you tie your bait on there, you screw it on. I can literally go for 20 plus fish before I have to worry about my trailer ripping up. I still have one of these from two years ago that has the same exact trailer on it and I've caught dozens of fish on them. So that screw lock right there, that is a complete game changer with these. Normally we get five items in every single sack. So the next one right here is the Divine Swim Baits. This is 3.2 inches and these are in platinum white. Are these guys really excel? Is an umbrella rig bladed jig, a swim jig. You can Texas rig these. You could even put them on a little keel weighted belly hook 
and just swim this little guy around and it'll drive those fish crazy. The very last thing in this sack is a pack of the Ox flipping hooks. These are size three. In Florida, we have a lot of thick cover. I'm talking about thick cover. We have a lot of big bass. So when I am flipping, I don't have to worry about that hook straightening out or breaking. But the Ox flipping hook, this thing is stout. I'm telling you, it has a double barb hook keeper on there. So your bait is not gonna slide down. It has a nice line tie on there. And I'm talking about these are some strong hooks. So that was the first sack. So draw me a comment, let me know one through 10, how you would rate the first sack. Go with sack number two. Thing I wanted to do comparing all three of these sacks is showing you the diversity of baits that you do get in these Super 6 sacks, how it is gonna expand your horizons, it's gonna expand your arsenal and expand the colors that you use. This one does feel a lot heavier, like we got more hard baits in here. So the very first one is a Crush Mini 25X. And this right here is Ghost Sexified Shad. Now this tiny little dude dives down to four feet. It is a quarter ounce and it is a translucent color. I'm not sure how well the camera is going to pick that up, but when they are keying in on smaller bait fish, or if you're in a smaller body of water, this little guy is going to be perfect to crank around the shallows, bang it off some of those shell beds or those rocks or timber. This guy is surely going to get bit. And right, next up, this is, whoo, this is a nice color. Check that out. That's the Crush 100S Silent. Coming in at 5 8 ounce, this guy dives 2 to 5 feet, and this is Shad True Scales. This is a beautiful color. One thing I love about Six Sense is you can't beat their color schemes. Check that guy out. That is gorgeous with that pattern on top. The rainbow scales right there on the side that look like a bait fish. Of course, every crankbait comes with these nice, sharp, nickel-plated hooks. If you're in a body of water where there's a lot of pressure, everyone's throwing baits that have a whole bunch of rattles in there, go ahead, pick up a silent one, which is gonna look different to those fish, and you're gonna get those fish that they're not catching because it doesn't have any rattles in it. It's something different. It's like a silent killer. All right, this next one, this next one I literally use every single trip. And these are one of my favorite hooks right there. This is the stout wide gap hook. And my favorite size is four out. Now, yes, I am guilty of going to Walmart, picking up those big packs of those Eagle Claw, or whatever they're called hooks. And ever since I started throwing these stout wide gap worm hooks, mm -mm, I'll never touch those Walmart hooks again because like them, these do not bend out. These do not dull. I'm talking about, I will go fish after fish, trip after trip with the same exact hook, not worrying about that super needle point hook right there ever doling out. Now this sack has a lot of baits that I use on a normal basis. We got the Junebug Red Clout. 5.4s. If you don't know what the cloud is, it is a stick bait, kind of like a Cinco. 5.4 inches, but look at that color. If you're in Florida and you're not throwing Junebug Red, you might need to tie one of these on, toss it around your local ponds or lakes, rivers, whatnot. This color is unmatched. And the clout comes with a diamond pattern all the way down the bait. And what that does is gives this thing insane action in the water. It helps it displace water. And on that fall, when you're wacky rigging it, even when you're Texas rigging it, this thing has a wiggle to it. Fish just go crazy over. That was number four. So the very last bait in here is a Snatch 70, 5 8 ounce. And this is Chrome Shiner. I'm telling you, this sack literally has everything that I use when I go out. Smaller baits, bigger baits. The hooks I use, the soft plastics I use, and the lipless that I use. That right there is gold, silver, 
purple accent, white on the bottom. The Snatch 70 is my go-to lipless crankbait. So that was sack number two. So again, go in the comments, write sack two, give me a one through 10, let me know how that sack was. What we're gonna do is we're gonna compare all three of these and I wanna know which one's your favorite so I know which one to give away. All right, sack number three. This one is coming to us in a black sack, white logo, white drawstring. Remember when I said, Sometimes you'll get baits that you've never thrown or a color you've never thrown. Well, I got one in here. This is one bait that's never been on my confidence scale, really. I've looked at them. I've never thrown them. But this is the Swank 77X. This right here is 3 4 ounce, 77 millimeters. And this is baby bluegill. Now, if you don't know what the Swank is, it is a very unique square bill crankbait hybrid kind of bait dives two to five feet and what's unique about it is that bill on there it has such a unique l-shaped bill it's gonna allow that thing to have some crazy action these things have a insane wobble to them i've watched a lot of videos on them i have not thrown them but this year I am going to have one tied on. I am going to rip it around and we're going to catch some fish on this guy. But that right there is a beautiful color with all those vertical lines on there. That gold, green, silver, black around the eye with those red eyes. Super sharp nickel plated hooks on there. Yeah, this guy right here. And it sounds like we got some BBs and some knockers in there. So this right here is going to be a killer in that tea green color water we have here in Florida where they love crankbaits. So that right there, that is one bait that I got that I never would have picked up over on the site, but guess what? Now I have one and I'm gonna toss this thing around. Next up is one of these newer baits, the Munch 40. This is 7 16 ounce and this is called Color Gillikin guy right here this is great for throwing up shallow in those ponds or your lakes where there's grass where there's timber this little dude only dives two to three feet so if you want to be really shallow or you want to run this thing above those high above that high drill above that grass or any kind of cover this guy is going to be the perfect little square bill crankbait not really square it has more of a rounded bill so it has a little bit more of a wider action to it not as tight all right we got some divine worm weights. Now these are just your standard lead worm weights. And this right here is half ounce. So when you're facing those that deep water in the summertime, you wanna get your bait a little further down there, throw in that half ounce. I always have a big mixture of lead and tungsten, just in case I'm really casting into those shady areas where I know I might get stuck, I might lose my bait. I'll throw a lead instead of a tungsten because it's a lot cheaper to replace lead. And just like the last sack, we got some more stout wide gap worm hooks. These are three out, a little smaller. So when I'm throwing like that Ned Fry from the very first sack, if I want to Texas rig that instead of throwing it on a Ned rig, I will downsize to the three out. It all comes to an end with bait number five. We got the Stroker Cross. These little guys are 3.3 inches, and this is June Bug Juice. I gotta take a second and explain how much they care about the angler and the presentation of their baits, because when you're opening these, most of their craws are gonna come in these nice clamshells, a nice hard plastic clamshell, which is gonna keep all your baits and the tails or claws on your baits nice and straight, how they're intended to be. They're not just thrown in a bag and bending up and getting all warped and everything and they don't kick right, they don't swim right. So they really care about you. So you pop that thing open, you grab one of these guys right here. These things work perfect on the back of a buzz bait, on a jig, Texas rig, flipping. They have six little side appendages right there. The two big claw kickers on there, all you gotta do is break off that tail right there and these things just flap. 
nice thin body on nice profile all right guys let's go over all three lined up right next to each other make sure you drop me a comment we have sack one sack two and sack three so we have all three sacks which one would you choose and let me know which one you think is better one two or three all right so if you want to win one of these sacks i will let you pick which one that you receive go to the link in my description i have four of these hats on my shopify account one of four of these hats are going to receive a super sick sack with the hat absolutely free so go in the description hit that link go to my shopify purchase a hat and you may have some extra baits so until then guys go out there hit the water have a blast and go enjoy that grind